Today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 56, verse 15. And your hearts are not satisfied, and ye obey not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay, so here's the thing. Christ suffered and died for us and took up his life again that we might be able to prepare for eternity in this life and be able to look beyond our imperfect selves and do things that we might not have been able to do before the atonement or if the atonement hadn't happened. You see, we can remember that we're children of God and we can live up to that by striving in righteousness and doing that which will make us happy not only in this life but the next. And we can't really have anything better than that because there are so many advantages to being with God and Jesus Christ and living by what they teach us. And there's so many blessings we can get, not only for ourselves, but for others close to us. And we should not be afraid. And we should really take pleasure in what they have to offer, because it's so much better than anything that the world has to offer. However, there are those who are not satisfied by the love of God and Jesus Christ. There are those who do not wish to have anything to do with God and Jesus Christ, and who do not wish to have anything to do with what they have to offer, because it doesn't satisfy them, they don't understand it, it's beyond their willingness to learn and understand, so of course they're not going to enjoy it. Seldom, if at all, do people enjoy what they don't understand. But that's okay. I mean, everyone's got their agency. If they don't wish to take the time to understand and enjoy what Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ have to offer them, well, that's their decision. And I mean, their hearts aren't satisfied with what God and Jesus Christ have to offer. And I mean, of course, it's not good, but that's their choice. And they who are not satisfied by God and Jesus Christ don't obey the truth because they don't understand it or they don't really want to. They may know the truth, but they may not find satisfaction or pleasure in it because they don't understand it the way they should or the way they could. So they seek out different pleasures that will satisfy their needs for placation. And they seek out that which is unrighteous, and they take pleasure in that because it's easy, it's simple, and they can understand it, and it's effortless. Anything worth anything takes effort and sacrifice and time. Unrighteousness takes none of those except the sacrificing of one's soul. But some people prefer the path which is quick and easy and then they don't have to struggle to understand things, and others prefer the, this quest for knowledge that they might understand beyond their current limits. And the atonement can help us to understand beyond our current limits, but we have our agency. And all can choose for themselves, all must make a choice. We can't sit on the fence. We all must make a choice as to what we want. And we must be prepared to live with our decision, or we must be prepared to repent if we've made a bad decision. But if we're not prepared to repent, we need to be prepared to live with what we've chosen. But God and Jesus Christ are waiting for us. They're always waiting for us. They're always waiting to help us. That we might find pleasure in that which is right and good, and get help in walking away from that which is not good, that our hearts may be satisfied the way they 
are meant to be. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.